All right, welcome everybody to the seventh and final round from the Displains Illinois City Championship. We're gonna have Austin Reed against Lauren Henderson, a player that just kind of came out of nowhere, and she's six and zero in one of the hardest fields in the entire world. When uh, almost a hundred players with multiple world champions and just uh, perennial world competitors, all this great stuff, and here she is. So we're gonna find out more about her in this match. And of course, Austin won his last round against Matt Moss. We'll see what happens here. These guys are already set up. So yeah, Lauren, um, like I said, I, I really don't have any information on her. Um, I don't think I've ever seen her before. Uh, I don't know where she's from. I don't know what she's playing. But she's undefeated. Obviously, we'll, we'll, we will not take her lightly. Uh, she knows what she's doing. And uh, Austin, we, we just saw him last round. Obviously, he knows what he's doing. He beat Matt Moss. Uh, he's just having an incredible run today. And I mean, I'm just going to let him play, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> now, normally, um, we actually don't see too many female players uh, playing at Pokemon tournaments in general. So uh, it's quite a treat to see one undefeated so far in this tournament. We get to feature one here. And we have a handshake there, and we'll see what happens. And it looks like we have a Darkrai deck. So go figure. <laughs> another Darkrai deck. We featured plenty of those today. We'll see if Austin can trump another one, as he will be going first. And we'll see what he has. Also, her sleeves are pretty cool. I don't know what exactly those are, but they look pretty neat. All right, so there is a computer search on the first turn. I did see Austin also has a Juniper in hand, so there's something to watch out for. Will he go right for the Pokemon Center? That's uh, an interesting question. If you're going to Juniper, you might as well just take a card that's going to be useful, one that's going to be difficult to find later on in the game. So maybe you just take the Pokemon Center. <laughs> I mean, you know you're facing the Darkrai deck. Uh, uh, you know that Pokemon Center is going to be the key to, to beating this kind of a deck. So you just grab that. Uh, I mean, it was either that or hold on to it for the next turn when you can, you know, get a rare candy and a Blastoise. Or, you know, find a missing piece of the puzzle. So yeah, it's an actually an interesting decision on what you would take with this computer search. There's really nothing that is extremely good, extremely good one card. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess he's taking another Keldeo. Uh, I might honestly rather get the Pokemon Center there. With Dark Ride decks in general, do not play any stadiums. But you don't know what he's facing, I guess. Uh, I, I've seen some Dark Ride. Dragon decks actually use um, Tropical Beach. So maybe he's just being cautious with that. He wants to make sure his stadium sticks out there the whole time. And let's see. Puts down a Mewtwo as well. Now Austin is being very liberal, just kind of benching whatever he wants. Um, the reason for this is that Caldeo can rush in at any time. So you don't care about just benching another Mewtwo. You don't care about just benching another Caldeo. You don't care about benching another Squirtle. Because you can always just rush in and um, you don't have to worry about, you know, Catcher stalling you because you can't retreat one of your Pokemon. And hey, it is a High Dragon deck. Go figure. So Darkrai High Dragon deck. Now this is a very close matchup. Now, without, without the Pokemon Center, I would say pretty much every time the Dark Ride deck, the Dark Ride Dragon deck has an advantage. With the Pokemon Center, ooh, it's a completely different game. Uh, the reason being, if you can Night Spear with Dark Ride and then put 30 on a benched Caldeo EX, you can then um, finish it off with Hydragon's Dragon Blast for 140 damage. So that just sets up an easy two prize knockout with your Hydragon, and it's huge. Oh, we do see a very strong start from Lauren. A computer search. Um, that's probably going to be for a dark patch. Gets a dark into the discard pile. It'll be either for a dark patch or a supporter if she doesn't have one. Either way, I gotta assume she's going to be using junk hunt this turn, which means she will be getting a computer search back, which means you probably get 
um, uh, a turn two Night Spear with a High Dragon, honestly. But she did not have a supporter, she had to search for one. Has to discard two max potions, which could end up being a big deal. We'll see. And now we gotta see if there's a Dark Patch. If there is, that is huge. If not, that's a. Okay, there's a Dark Patch. So, uh, missing that completely changes the start. But getting it, that is a gigantic advantage. This is about the best start you could hope for. The only thing better would be to have a second dino out there. Also interesting to know she plays the fighting weak dino, the dark type dino. Uh, normally, you would play the dragon type one nowadays because of Landris EX. Uh, but she just says, well, you know what? I don't care about Landris. I'm just going to play my dark type one. I think it looks cooler. And uh, I guess it's not weak to Rayquaza. And also you can dark patch to it. Let's see. So we do see an N out of Boston that will prevent this computer search, which is a big deal because it'll prevent probably what was going to be a turn two high dragon out. We don't know for sure if Lauren won't get a rare candy and a high dragon out, but uh, it, it, knowing your opponent has that computer search in hand, you'd pretty much always end in this situation to try to slow your opponent down a turn. All right, so let's see. Uh, Austin, oof, oof, <laughs> oof. Uh, I'm sure he was hoping for like a rare candy Blastoise and then a turn two Secret Sword, but instead he got mm, nothing. <laughs> uh, he's not gonna be able to evolve. He's not gonna be able to do really anything. And he's probably just gonna have to pass the turn. Okay, that's that. So, not as good as his previous start, which was a turn two Rare Candy Blastoise Secret Sword against Matt Moss. Um, this time it's a turn two Attach and Pass. A little bit different. <laughs> we'll see what Lauren has, though. If she doesn't have anything, then it's not as big of a deal. But if she can get a turn two Night Spear, that is game changing. And she's going right for the Squirtle. Just kind of catching that out. We'll see what she does. She's going to end. Uh, it's an interesting choice to play a catcher there if you don't know for sure if you're going to get uh, a Night Spear this turn. It's almost a wasted catcher. At the same time, you are putting it in your discard pile, so if you don't get a Night Spear this turn, you can just junk on for it and get it right back. So maybe it's not that big of a deal. Um, but you got to ask, is it better to knock out a Squirtle than to put 90 on a Keldeo EX and set it up for a Night Spear knockout? <laughs> Excuse me, um, I don't know if it is or not. Uh, taking two prizes on a Keldeo EX seems like a better... It just seems overall like it's going to net you more. But uh, knocking out a Squirtle and then catching out a Blastoise and knocking it out, I could see that being big as well. But it looks like both these players are having some fairly slow starts. Um, we're not seeing anything out of Lauren either. Unless she's just uh, holding on to something and kind of slow rolling here. Oh, she got a computer search. Never mind then. <laughs> she's going to discard a dark energy and an N. So maybe we'll, we'll see a high drag on this turn. Um, she needs to have either a rare candy or a stage 2 in her hand. If she does, she can just search for the missing piece, get her stage 2 out, and then Night Spear. And uh, things are going to get ugly really quickly for Austin if he doesn't have anything uh, this following turn. Alright, so she's actually just going to get a Zwilus. Huh. Um, so this is not as good as the, um, the Hydra Dragon, obviously. Uh, I actually, I, I'm trying to figure out if I like this or not. The, the reason being, you might be better off just getting another dino, uh, because if your one Zwilus gets catchered and knocked out, you lose your option to use High Dragon for the next turn. Uh, and it's going to be that much more difficult to get one into play. All Austin needs is a water and a catcher to knock out your Zwilus. 
and uh, that takes away really the heart and soul of your deck. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting choice. But if Austin doesn't get a catcher, then we get a high dragon and everything is fine in the world. So I can see that either way. Austin's gonna play a level ball just to grab another Squirtle, thin out his deck a little bit. Not sure what else he's gonna do here. He does have a Skylar, it looks like. Takes back the Squirtle. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see a Skyla. That can either be for a catcher or uh, an Ultra Ball, honestly. <clears throat> if he wants to get Blastoise out, I'd probably prefer a catcher here if he doesn't have one in his hand. Just take that thing out of play. And yep, he goes right for the catcher. And he recognizes, all right, if I can take this out of play, I'm going to completely ruin your strategy. And uh, I'm going to end up winning. That's yeah, really just all there is to it. All right, so we do have a Secret Sword for 110. Gonna knock out this Wyliss, and now, how will Lauren respond? Obviously, she's gonna Night Spear this turn. Um, let's see. So we do have a Dark Patch. It's gonna power up this Dark Rye. Now, this is uh, a situation where Pokemon Center is gonna come in handy if Austin has it. Obviously, Lauren's going to Night Spear this turn. Uh, she will hit the active for 90, probably somewhere else for. Well, some other Keldeo for 30. She does have a computer search. So, discarded an N and a Max Potion. So she's actually discarded a lot of supporters already. This could be bad as the game goes on. She's actually discarded like three Ns already. Which is a card that's going to be very useful in coming back in this matchup. So maybe she's being a little too liberal with discarding these supporters. She might run out at some point, um, and she grabs a, another Dino, recognizes, all right, I need this in order to win this matchup. <clears throat> I need to be able to move my energy around at some point. I need to be able to attack with Dragon Blast at some point. Otherwise, I'm going to end up losing. So she goes right for that Dino. She's, she must have another supporter, otherwise she wouldn't have, you know, uh, discarded an N. And then she's going to Juniper for seven. Drawing a fresh hand. Uh, I'm sure she's going to be looking for a second dino this turn. Otherwise, it's just another catcher. And Austin's going to knock out another one. But uh, he did have to Skylar for the catcher the previous turn. Didn't look like his hand was actually very strong. So I, I don't think he has one. He might have to draw into one. Oh, she's actually going to catch her out Squirtle. I actually do not like this play at all. Uh, at this point, you're kind of uh, trading blows with the Keldeo. You might as well just hit it for 90 and try to knock out three EXs to win the game. But instead, she decides to go up to the Squirtle and says, you know what, I'm going to go for your Blastoise. It seems to be the, the strategy that most players are taking here at this tournament. Target down the Blastoise and then try to clean up the Caldeos. Um, now, if this was an effective strategy against decks like Embor, because pretty much, I mean, you, th you think Embor and Blastoise are the same thing, but the difference between them is that Caldeo retains its energy when it attacks. All of the attackers in an Embor deck did not. They all had to discard their energy. So after they discarded their energy, you would just go after the Embor, and they would fizzle out. But with this deck, the energy stays on the Keldeos. So even though you take out the Blastoise, if they already have energy in play, well, Secret Sword is a good enough attack where they're just going to keep attacking you and eventually they're going to win. So I think I would have preferred just hitting that Keldeo for 90. At the same time, uh, you can take two prizes just by knocking out a Squirtle and then knocking out a Blastoise with Hydragon's Dragon Blast. If you can ever do that, then this is completely worth it.
but it seems like with all the resources Lauren has burned through already, she still doesn't have a high dragon. She could lose her uh, other dino to a catcher here. I don't know. It's a, it's a strange situation. You, you, it does look like Austin has a catcher. So maybe this will pay off for him. We will have to find out here. Alright, so he puts two energy onto another Caldeo EX. Uh, actually, just decides to put one on there instead. Okay. Interesting that uh, one of the things that could happen is that he could go for a big secret sword knockout with a ton of energy on a Caldeo EX. It'd actually take eight to knock out a Darkrai with an Eviolite. It's eight energy on a secret sword. Uh, that does enough to knock out the dark right don't look like he has enough that is a ton of energy to have but at some point if he does that uh, that's really where high dragon has trouble so maybe that's why Lauren is just saying all right I need to take out Blastoise I need to prevent this strategy from happening and then if I'm just getting secret sorted for 110 all the time I can max potion my way to victory Now this is going to be a huge, huge, huge turn for Lauren. Does she have a rare candy and a high dragon? If she can get that stage 2 into play, this entire dynamic for the game changes. Um, it just goes from having the Night Spear and, you know, losing all your energy to being able to move everything off, tackle something else, um, maybe even dragon blasting this Keldeo for 140 and just knocking it out. Uh, that, I mean, there are many, many options you gain by getting a high dragon off this turn. But if you don't, then it gets ugly. <laughs> and you just, you're just stuck with the energy on your Darkrai. Uh, you have to Night Spear. You don't really get anywhere. You end up falling behind two prizes. Ah, it's just, uh, it's not pretty. So we'll, we'll see what she does. Uh, we do have a Skyla. Uh, you gotta think if, if she would have had, you know, the cards to get a High Dragon, she probably would have done this sooner. So maybe she's just thinking over something else, searching for another card. Uh, I'm not too sure. Skyla does allow you to search your deck for any trainer card. It can be a supporter, a stadium, or an item. So, you know, if she needed, um, like, a rear candy to, to evolve into High Dragon, she'd grab that. Um, if she needed an Ultra Ball to get the High Dragon, she'd grab that. And, nope, she is just taking a Juniper. So now we have um, an interesting choice for Lauren. Now, we, we, we saw Austin did not have a catch of the previous turn because he did not play one to knock out the dino. If he could have, that's the, that's the play he would have made 100% of the time. So, knowing that he doesn't have a catcher, would you retreat to your Sableye to junk hunt for a computer search and maybe something else? Uh, it's like she wants to retreat to her darker. Uh, I don't like that too much. You're just kind of setting yourself up for failure. I much prefer the junk hunt option, and that's what she's doing. Uh, I, I really, I love this play a lot. Don't just leave your dark right to hang. Force Austin to use another catcher to take a big knockout. If he has it, okay, so be it. Uh, that, that's, that's just the game sometimes. If he doesn't, this play pays off so much. I mean, you get back a computer search and a max potion. You sacrifice a Sableye in the grand scheme of things, that's not a big deal. That's just, sure he goes down to four prizes, but it's going to be so difficult for him to actually do anything once you get this full setup. Uh, and I, I just, I, I do feel like the junk hunt was the right play. Now, Austin does have the catcher, which, uh, the Skyler for the catcher, which is unfortunate for Lauren, but uh, that was still the correct move. 
Now she actually opted to grab a catcher and a max potion uh, instead of going for computer search, uh, which was a questionable move. I know she has gone through a lot of max potions at this point. Uh, a lot of them actually. I think maybe all, even all three might be in the discard pile. And maybe she just wanted a catcher to maybe go for Blastoise, knock that out. But, um, I mean, if she didn't have the rare candy and Hydraga, I'm like, why? Uh, it doesn't seem like she'll be able to use that catcher very well. So you'd just be better off grabbing a computer search. So maybe she's just holding on to it? I don't know. It's, uh, it's kind of confusing. And actually often decides to go for the Dino here. I do like that play because the, the damage on the Darkrai, it's going to stay there. Because if it doesn't, if she max potions that off, she loses 3 energy and you honestly don't care at that point. Like, that's a victory either way. So I, I like the decision, take out the Dino, because the only thing that's going to give you grief at this point is that stage 2, that high Dragon, because that's what gives her all the options, that's what gives her the big uh, Dragon Blast for 140. That's what allows her to make crazy plays, and uh, if she doesn't have that out, you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Just, well, Night Spears. And you can deal with Night Spears. He has Pokemon Center in his deck somewhere. And it's just going to be the difference in this game once he gets it out. Maybe it won't even be a factor in this game. He might just be so far ahead that this game might pretty much be over. Uh, we see another energy onto this Darkrai. We also saw Lauren use a ton of ends early on. So she won't have that end to one and cross your fingers strategy. Um, so yeah, this is just going to be extremely difficult to win at this point. Let's see, I would actually just use the max potion on, on the dark on the dark eye if I were Lauren. <clears throat> to, uh, to take away Austin's ability to just take two prizes on a dark eye. Uh, you can always just junk hunt for two dark patches if you want to and power up a dark eye at will. So I think that's actually the better move. Which she does. Uh, we know she has a juniper. She's gonna play a catcher for the heck of it, I guess. <laughs> and there's Juniper. Oh, what's it? Discard three dark energy. That's painful. And that's a ton of darks gone, so she's almost just going to be forced to junk hunt for two dark patches. So there is one dark patch. I suppose if she really wanted to, she could Night Spear this turn. Oh, it's another Dark Batch. Okay. So, oh, a Super Rod as well. So she's going to be able to shuffle in some Dinos. All right. Um, she's got more hope in this game than I thought. So, uh, I can't see because of the glare, but that, I think that was a Dino and another Dino. And a Dark. Okay. Have all three of those shuffled in. We should probably still see her use Junk Hunt this turn. I mean, uh, using Night Spear at this point is just uh, probably not going to work. Just seems like you're fighting a battle you can't win, and especially after she captured the Blastoise. You know, if you were maybe two hitting a Keldeo, maybe I'd be okay with it, but now you're just hitting a Blastoise for 90. That's not nearly as good. But she's going to do it. She's going to hit the Bench Keldeo for 60. The active Blastoise for 90. And let's see where this goes from here. Now, if you're Austin, what do you do? You do have an opportunity here to go for the big play. You could rush in with your Keldeo with one energy on it, deluge to it, retreat. Energy Retrieval, get back two waters, uh, and go for two more waters. You need eight to Secret Sword this Dark Guy for a one-hand knockout. If you get that, the game is over. <laughs> there's, no, there's no real science behind it. The game is just over. Uh, and if you miss it, it's not the end of the world. You could 
you can still win. You're going to be up plenty of prizes still. Uh, and your board advantage is just still very good. So I would like to see him go for this. He's... Here comes the Keldeo train. And uh, he does have an energy retrieval. Oh, he's actually going a different route with this. Uh, huh, he's going for a Mewtwo. This is an interesting move. Um, I didn't really expect this one. Oh, he's just going to rush in, never mind. <laughs> Trick me often. Well done. So he's just kind of spreading his energy around and not going for the one, the big one-hit knockout. Because he knows Lauren doesn't have any high dragons in place. She can't move the energy off and just max potion. That's just not going to work. You can't just discard three energy all the time. Um, that's not how the game works. <laughs> you can't just uh, expect to win that way. So if he can just do Secret Sword every turn for like 110 over and over and over, eventually he's going to win, just given his situation. Alright, so there is a Juniper. Austin will draw seven. And honestly, if he gets energy on three different Keldeos, uh, I don't see him losing. And there's the Pokemon Center too, so this game is pretty much done. Uh, there's no High Dragon at play. I mean, it could come out, but it seems like too little too late. See a heavy ball from Austin. You don't see that very often. Uh, it's a nice card you can Skyla for to grab a Blastoise, and it's literally the only Pokemon in the deck you can grab is Blastoise. But Austin actually does not have another Blastoise, so. Huh. Uh, could be. Oh, oh, there's one in his hand, never mind. Oh, he's actually got a ton of energy in his hand, too, so. Yeah, at this point, he can just kind of bounce around with his Keldeos and. Uh, Pokemon Center, heal them off, and he'll be just fine. Uh, I, I don't see Lauren making a comeback in this game. It just seems so unlikely. Even if she takes out the Blastoise at this point, it doesn't really matter. Because there's already uh, nine energy on board. <laughs> so, oh well. Right, so we have a Secret Sword for, uh, it'll be 90. Thanks to the Eviolite. There's a random receiver from Lauren. Let's see what she draws off of this. She's gone through a ton of supporters already. We'll see what's even left. Skyla. I know. Uh, uh, that is the worst feeling in the world. Random receiver into a Skyla. Normally when you random receiver, you're going for a draw card. But instead, you get a Skyla. <laughs> and... I don't even know what she would get with that. She might just grab another supporter. We'll see. Uh, yep, that's the only supporter she has. Skyla. Uh, trying to figure out what she would want to do. I mean, you could Ultra Ball for a dino, and then retreat and junk hunt this turn. That would be one way to give yourself a shot at this. And you would also be able to Pokemon Center your Darkrai. Heal it off a little bit. Uh, okay, she goes for a level ball. That's even better. Don't have to discard cards now. Gets that dino into play. See if she decides to Night Spear or if she retreats and uses Sableye. Uh, I would prefer using Sableye at this point. It just seems like the best way to go about it. You don't mind losing a Sableye at this point. Because you need to put everything you have, every single resource and ounce of energy you have into getting your High Dragon into play. Because if you don't, you are fighting an impossible uphill battle. You cannot win with just using Night Spear at this point. And I think you have to realize that. So it's either 
Well, you need to retreat this Darkrai for sure. You either retreat to another Darkrai. And, oh, actually, she's just going for the Blastoise. So never mind. She's going to take a prize this turn, knock out the Blastoise, and see if she can do anything from there. Now, you got to understand, this is a very difficult situation. You can't fault Lauren for whatever she does. Um, this is this is almost an impossible spot to come back from. <clears throat> you would just have to honestly be lucky to come back from this at this point. Uh, she did not have a good start. She never got a stage two into play. Her deck strategy is not working. And um, it just... I know it's easy to be very critical of someone in this situation, but it's a very high-pressure situation. Um, you know, you're doing your best to come back, but sometimes just your deck doesn't work the way you want it to, and you're forced to make very difficult decisions. Sometimes it just doesn't work out, and uh, we'll see. Um, let's see what Austin does here first. Uh, obviously, he's going to Secret Sword and get a knockout. Take his two prizes. He might be contemplating if he has a catcher going for the dino and taking that out of play because he knows just how powerful that can be. But at the same time, he might just be content to take these two prizes and think, you know what, I'm going to draw two prizes at some point. It is just a reality. And oh, time was just called. So that's another thing going against Lauren here. Um, Time in the round has been called. Austin will be turned zero. So, Lauren will get two more turns, as will Austin. And then whoever is winning on prizes by the end of these three turns will be declared the winner. If they're tied, we go to sudden death where the next prize wins. So, most certainly this game will not finish. This game will not end in... Um, one player taking all of their prizes. And Lauren really needs to get High Dragon into play. Uh, there's no other way she can have a chance at this, I don't think. Uh, she's going to rush in with Caldeo. And let's see. We have a Secret Sword. Knocking out Lauren's Darkrai. Now, I say there's no chance, but there actually is a chance. Uh, if you bear with me, I'll explain it. Number one, she, she needs to get a High Dragon out as soon as possible. That's, uh, that's obvious. So she's going to Ultra Ball here. Uh, if she does not have the ability to use Dragon Blast this turn, she needs to set up a Darkrai, attach, and pass. Next turn, she needs to catch her up at Keldeo EX with the, uh, the damage on it and Dragon Blast. So this would tie the game as Austin gets his third turn and if he can't knock out the Hydragon it will go back to Lauren who then can use Shaman EX to Revenge Blast and win the game. So uh, this is not completely over. It depends on what Lauren plays and all that stuff but if she has an energy this turn and eh, she just doesn't have enough cards it looks like uh, so Austin will be turned to and, yeah, I mean, no energy there. That's pretty much game over. Um, there's no, I don't even think she has any supporters left, to be honest. She might just have nothing left. She exhausted a ton of resources. I don't think she has any ends left. She might not even have any junipers left. Uh, I am almost positive she has no dark patch left. So there is just no real way for her to win at this point. The only way she would have been able to win was with an energy drop last turn. Uh, setting up for a Dragon Blast to knock out Austin's damaged Caldeo EX, and then following it up with a Shaman EX. Otherwise, she just can't win. Uh, I suppose there is a, a very, very, very small chance she can win with that same Shaman EX I was talking about earlier. Uh, she would need an EB Light. And, okay, there's a catcher, so uh, Austin's got a catcher. This game is uh, actually just over because Lauren cannot take three prizes in one turn. And uh, especially when the, the thing get knocked out is the High Dragon. So um, 
Austin wins for sure now. He's just going to take a prize, get out of reach. He's going to put the fifth energy onto his Calvio EX. Rush in, and then Secret Sword for 150. Knocking out the High Dragon, and this game is just completely over. Uh, Lauren cannot take three prizes in one turn, can't tie the game, and she just extends her hand and says, good game. Uh, I can't do anything about that. So, congratulations to Austin Reed, our undefeated 7-0 player with the Blastoise Keldeo deck. Lauren, she put up a fight, but she just did not draw very much in that game. It was unfortunate. Would like to see, you know, a better game. But uh, sometimes you just don't get set up. That's Pokemon. And uh, we're going to wrap up the Swiss rounds with that. So, thank you guys for watching. We will be back soon for the top eight. We'll have a top eight cut. And we'll see who makes it. We'll go through the standings and all that. And we'll be back shortly with those great matches. Stay tuned. This tournament is not over yet. We'll be back.